Get on over here. Four years ago this week, John Kralik was in big trouble. He was living in a tiny apartment about to be divorced and his law firm was failing. Then he decided to focus on what he had rather than what he didn't have. And he says everything changed. John Kralik writes about his journey in the book, A Simple Act of Gratitude. How learning to say thank you changed my life, which has just come out in paperback. And we are happy to have John here with us this morning. How are morning. you? Good to see you. I'm great, Chris. It's Thanks. really kind of the law. The, 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 Thank you card, really, it's kind of the, the lost art. It was used to, I guess, be so prevalent in society, and now it's kind of gone the ways of emails and things like that. Well, I hope it comes back because it has unique benefits. It's, there's something that you get when yeah. you write it out. I got that out of just finding the person's address and focusing on where that person actually physically lived and the effort that it took them to make the effort to give me a gift. Yep. And, and, let, and let's start with, with this gift that, you, that you, you talk about and have written about. Four years ago, you wrote a thank you card that kind of started it all. What was it about this letter, and, and what was the genesis of it? Well, I, the genesis of it was that I had an inspiration when I was uh, going for a walk in the mountains, and I was lost. And I received an inspiration that until I learned to be grateful for the things I had, I would not receive the things that I wanted. And I made the resolve to write 365 thank you notes that year. Of course, I had completely forgotten that resolve by January 3rd. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, but I received a thank you note for a Christmas gift that I had given. And I remembered, as ungrateful as I felt and as awful as I felt my life was, I remembered that I had gotten a few Christmas gifts, including yeah. a coffee maker from my son. And I sent him a thank you note for that. And a few days later, he showed up in my office and gave me, uh, repaid a loan to me of $4,000. And, you know, I had another thank you note to write, of course. <laughs> but it, you know, at that moment, I actually really needed the money. So yeah. I really appreciated it. Yeah. And at every stage of this journey <clears throat> through the 365 thank you notes, there was something when I would flag and stop writing them for a few days, something like that would happen mm -hmm. to re-inspire me and keep yeah. me going. Yeah, in addition to being re-inspired by events, good things happening to you as a result, was there any other thing that kept you going when it was difficult to write a thank you note? I think it, well, I had set the goal, which was, you know, uh, something that I decided I was just going to do. My inspiration was not to write a book, it was to write thank you notes. I think I had wanted to write a book, but yeah. what I got was the inspiration to keep writing thank you over and over. And I became grateful as I noticed the good things in my life. Even if nothing external was happening to me, I noticed the good things that I already had. I had a beautiful daughter, two wonderful sons. I had wonderful people working with me at my firm, brothers and sisters, mother and father. Yeah and all these things that I had not been looking at. This book is really, it's resonated with people. What has been the response? What are some of the responses you've got? Well, the most beautiful responses are the thank you, uh, thank you notes <laughs> that I received. Yeah. I, at the time, I was obviously writing more thank you notes than I was receiving, and that has changed. I now receive more than I write. My New Year's resolution is to try to answer all those who have written thank you notes to me. And, uh, but I, in the new paperback, I try to write for now a thank you note to all my readers. I wanted to appeal to the best in people. And what I found was that the book appeals to the best people. Great. And so I've really loved the, the readers who have written to me. Wonderful. Well, we thank, thank you, you for being here. We it's do appreciate great. it. Can't tell you we'll send you a thank you note, but you never know. Well, I might send you one. <laughs> well, we really appreciate okay. it. Thank you, John. Thank Very you, good John. to see you. Very good to see you.